Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this ribbon trim tutu with the perfect circles because I get this question all the time. How do I make my circles so perfect? So uh, let's get started on this tutorial. So the material that you're going to need is obviously some tool. I got some light purple here and some regular purple. Then I got the tool and the ribbon. I got 20 yards of ribbon of the light purple and then this is actually 21 yards but I only need 20 yards of the regular purple ribbon as well. I normally get my tool and my ribbon from giftsintel.com or toolshop.com so I'll put the links to those websites in the description down below. That's where I normally get my tool and my ribbon. These I got at Hobby Lobby because I know most people um, live near a Hobby Lobby and if they're just making a tutu that's quick and easy um, it's easier just to go straight to Hobby Lobby and grab the material. I got all these 50% off. This one is normally $5.99. I got this 50% off and same with these. They're normally $3.99 each and these are 10 yards and um, so yeah I got them 50% off and same with these. This is a crochet band that I also get at Hobby Lobby as well but I cut my own. I don't buy the regular headbands so this is what I get for those that are wondering. I got it 50% off as well. It's normally $2.99 but I got it 50% off so it's $1.50 for this and it's two yards and you can make several tutus from that as well. So yeah, and I cut it. I'll put the, in the description down below, I'll put the measurements for the, the waist and the length. Now for the waist, if you're using a crochet band like I am right here, um, let's say if it's normally 21 inches, I would normally take off maybe 3 or 4 inches. Most of the time I'll take off about 4 inches from the waistband that, from the measurement that I have in the description down below. So take off 4 inches and then cut it. And that way when you're making the tutu, it doesn't overstretch and that way it will fit the child perfectly. Now for the amount of tool that I normally get, for the bigger sizes I'll normally, these are 40 yards each of these spools. Um, so I'll normally get maybe about two of these for the bigger sizes um, and normally just one for the smaller sizes only if you're using more than one color. If you're going to just use one color you're going to want to buy two or three depending on what sizes you're making or maybe even four. But since I'm only using two colors uh, I did get two of each since I'm making a size 5T in this video right here. So I did get two, two <laughs> spools of each of these. I'm not going to use all of the two, two spools, but I will use most of the second one as well. So You're also going to need a sewing machine. This is the sewing machine that I use. It's a Brother SE400. So this is what it looks like. It's just a regular sewing machine. It does embroidery as well, but I use it mostly as a sewing machine. You can use any uh, sewing machine. For a tool, I normally have the tension on a 3 or a 4. Normally a 3 or a 4. This is the tension up here. It tells you how tight or how loose. So the lower the number, the looser the thread will be, and the bigger the number, the tighter the thread will be. So I get that question all the time. But yes, this is the sewing machine that I am using. You're also going to need a pair of fabric scissors, a lighter to heat seal the end of the ribbon, uh, a ruler, and also a glue gun, a high temperature glue gun. You're also going to need something that's going to be able to measure your tool for you. I do have a tutorial, a video on how I make these, so I'll put that in the iCard in the corner or and also put a link in the description down below as well. But since the tutu that I'm making is going to be 12 inches long, I'm using this as 12 inches. Um, so, but yeah, the tutorial that on how I make these um, will just explain everything for you. You'll also need a needle, you barely can see it, a needle and some thread if you're going to make a bow to go on the front of the tutu. Now, the way I measure and cut my tool to know how many strips I'm going to need, and same with my ribbon, I count the holes. I count them this way. So I counted, so you can see the holes down here, there's one, two, you can see two right there, so uh, for the light purple I'll do one, two, and then skip two for the dark purple, and then go three, four, and skip two for the dark purple. So when I did that all the way around, I got 20. Now up and down, that that's 20 is how um, many rows there's going to be all the way around. The rows are going up and down by the way. So um, each row has three holes, which means I'm going to need three strips per row. So I'm going to need 20, 20 rows with three strips each for each row, if that makes any sense. Hopefully that makes sense, you guys. 
So yeah, there's 20 all the way around. You're going to need three strips for each row. So yeah, for the light purple and then another 20 for the dark purple. Hopefully that makes sense. But that's how I measure out how much tool and ribbon I'm going to need. So I'm going to need 20 yards of ribbon because uh, each row measures out a yard of ribbon. So up and down each row is one yard of ribbon. And uh, so it's 20 yards of ribbon. And then, um, and then I cut my tool, like I said, using this. So this is 12 inches long, so that's how long the tutu is going to be. So I'm going to, since there is 20 rows, three strips for each row, I'm going to put the tool on one end like this go around once so the end the end of the tutu is going to be down here and where the part that you're going to tie it onto the waistband is going to be up here so i went around once so that's one strip so i need to do it three times so it's two and three that's one row so i need to make 20 rows of uh three strips so i'm going to go one two three that's two rows one, two, three, that's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and I normally only do ten at a time, um, or I'll do half and then I'll cut it and then I'll do the other half, so that's ten, so I do need ten more, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it right now and cut this off the, the board. So I'm going to cut it on this end over here, just like that, and then I'm only going to cut on one end because this is how long the tutu is going to be, which is 12 inches right here. So this end still needs to stay, uh, do not cut this end, only cut one end, the end that you started on. So I'm just going to go like this and cut straight across like that. So and then I'm just going to go ahead and take this off like this and you should have a strip that's 24 inches long since it is 12 inch since it's going to be a 12 inch long tutu because you're going to fold it to tie it onto the waistband to make 12 inches so I'm going to go ahead and cut my next 10 rows or next yeah next 10 rows and then I'll be done with the light purple tool Now we're going to go ahead and cut the ribbon. So what I usually do use is just um, a hard ruler. This is just like a little wooden ruler. I've had this for years. <laughs> so I use I usually use a 12 inch ruler since each strip is six inches wide. And when you fold it in half, six inches plus six inches is 12 inches. And since there's three rows of tool, there's 12 inches, 12 inches, and 12 inches. Um, that's going up and down. So each row, I'm going to need 20 rows of, I guess, a yard, a yard each for each row. Hopefully that makes sense. So each of these spools here is um, 10 yards. So it's 20 yards. 20 yards on there. So uh, what I normally do is cut the end off to make sure it's even and you're gonna want to heat seal the end of all these strips by the way so um, I'm gonna wrap it around three times so it's one two three that's one row so I'm gonna need 20 of those so you're gonna go around three times so one two 
three, that's two rows. One, two, three, three rows. One, two, three, four rows. I normally do four rows at a time, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ends like that, because otherwise the ribbon gets too thick and you won't be able to cut it straight and even. So now what I do to make the six inch strips is I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half since they are 12 inches long. Oops, sorry about that. And then cut. And then you're gonna to wanna to heat seal the ends of all these strips. So this right here, both of these right here is already four rows and we need 20. So now I have all the tool and ribbon cut for each color. I'm just doing two colors on this, like I said before. So now I'm going to go ahead and start sewing the ribbon onto the ends of the pieces of tool. Okay, so now I just have the tool laying on my lap. And I'm going to put the first piece under. The ribbon is upside down. So the pretty side is face down. So if you have like ribbon that has like a pattern on it, you're going to want it to be face down. So now I'm just, what we're going to do is just sew along, right along the edge. So now I'm just going to add my next piece. Don't take it out, just leave it there. It just makes, it's just a faster way to make this uh, tutu. So what I did there, I don't know if you guys saw, but I just finished one strip. I don't know if you guys can see, but I sew, sewn the ribbon onto one end, and then I pulled the end around, and then I sew, I sewn a ribbon onto the other end. So I'm done with one strip right there. So now I'm getting my next piece of tool. I'm gonna go ahead and sew on the end of that. Now I'm going to add another piece of ribbon and then I'm going to grab this piece of tool, grab the other end of this piece of tool and then sew the ribbon on the end of that. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I'm done with all of my ribbon and all my strips. Okay, so I finished the last, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the thread. And now you can either cut it with the scissors or you can use the cutting tool that's on your sewing machine. Mine has it right here. So what I'm doing is just separating the pieces now. So where they're sewn, I'm just cutting the thread. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to all the pieces. And then we'll go on to the next step. Now I'm going to show you guys how I attach the ends together. So all I do is I'll get the glue gun and I'll just add a little, little line of glue just like that. And then I'll bring it around. Hopefully you guys can see this. And I'll just attach it just to make the just to make a circle. That's all it is. So I'll just, I just glue the ends together. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other end. Just like that. So hopefully you guys were able to see that. But then it just makes perfect circles. So now what you do is you just fold it in half and then we're going to attach it to the crochet band, which I have here on my mannequin. Hopefully you guys were able to see this. 
but all I'm doing is just folding in half and then I'm going to add it to the crochet band. I already added the one here on the bottom so now the next one, the way I did the one on the bottom is that I put it through uh, this hole right here down in pulled it out through the bottom and then I looped it but I'll show you guys that right here on this one because I'm doing it three rows up uh, doing bottom one, middle one, and a top one. So the next one is I'm going to put it through that hole right there, just like that. Pull it through the bottom hole, just like that, so it looks just like this. Open it up, and pull, and then just pull it. You don't need to pull it super tight. And again, you just fold it in half. And the way you do the top one is that you go over the top here, and then you're going to put it through the hole that you had put the other one through, just like that. Slide them through, and pull it snug. And you're just going to continue to do that all the way around. I'm doing two rows of light purple, then two rows of dark purple, then two rows of light purple, two rows of dark purple, but I'll show you guys um, the progress as I'm going along. Okay, so I finished the light purple right here. So as you guys can see, I did two side by side, and then I left two open. And then I did two side by side, and I left two open. Like two rows. Now I gotta do the dark purple. Okay, so here's the finished tutu. Sorry, it's so bright, <laughs> the light. But this is what the bottom looks like. The perfect circles to make the perfect ribbon trimmed tutu. And there's what the front looks like. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any tutorial suggestions or if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below or you can message me on one of my social media pages, which will be in the description under the video. And I'll get back to you and answer your questions. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys for the next tutorial.